Alcatraz Island. The Rock. The inescapable prison in the middle of San Francisco Bay. Surrounded by frigid, shark-infested waters. On June 11, 1962, three desperate men risked near certain death by swimming the perilous mile and a quarter to San Francisco. Their bodies were never recovered, and most authorities doubt that they made it across alive. I've done four times, and was a kind of was a dream for me, swimming from Alcatraz, and I made it. Oh, okay, so people do it all the time. The water is between 50 and 60 degrees, and no one has ever been nipped by a shark. Still, it's a challenging swim, and there are some pitfalls to avoid and some tips to help you complete the swim faster. Nobody knows the Alcatraz swim better than Chilean-born Pedro Ordenes. On June 11, 2001, he completed his 100th Alcatraz swim, and he currently holds the world's record for the most Alcatraz crossings. But that's not Pedro's only record. On December 30th, 1999, he crossed the Strait of Magellan in 39 degree water and 35 mile an hour winds in one hour and 58 minutes, becoming one of five to ever complete the swim, and at 53, the oldest person ever to do so. Pedro is uniquely qualified to teach open water swimming in general and the finer points of the Alcatraz swim in particular. Hello, I'm Pedro Dennis. And I'm glad you're watching this video and preparing yourself for a swim from Alcatraz. It's a fun swim in the beautiful San Francisco Bay, but preparation is the key to improving your crossing. If you're not familiar with the currents and landmarks here in San Francisco, and especially if you are a pool swimmer, this tape will help you with that preparation and transition. First, we'll discuss some real dangers of this swim and clear up some myths and misconceptions. We'll cover training for the swim, how to get acclimated to the cold water, open water swimming techniques, including starts and finishes. We'll show you what equipment is needed and the proper way to get into and out of a wetsuit. And of course, we'll show you what landmarks to look for and discuss the tides, currents, and tactical strategies that will help you to succeed in the day of your race. So let's get started. 